warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Sabina Binti Aslan and in this section, I will be introducing the concept of our project, which is projectile motions. So let me do a little bit of explaining uh, what is projectile motions. Okay, the motion of an object moving in a curved path is called a cubilinear motion. For example, a ping pong ball thrown in the air at a certain angle. Covilinear motion describes the motion of a moving particle that conforms to a known or fixed curve. So in today's presentation, we will present a rectangular component in covilinear motion, an example of a projectile motion. Hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Nasira Akila. Today, I will conduct an experiment about a projectile motion. The equipment that I will use in this project is a mini catapult as a launcher, ping pong balls, and a box, and also a protector to measure the launching angle. Let me explain to you all about the features of the mini catapult. Firstly, the box is used as a base and also as a wig to keep the catapult from moving during the launching process. Next, we create an arm brick that stops at 60 degree angle from the base and also the brick below the arm at 40 degree from the base. When we pull back the arm, it will stop at the break below the arm. With this break, we can fix the launching angle at 40 degree. 40 degree angle was measured by using a protector. The mechanism that we use on our mini catapult is a rubber band. As you can see, there are two places that we connect the rubber band with the arm, which at the bottom of the arm and the above of the arm brick. As you can see here, when I pull back the arm, the two rubber band will stretch. The rubber band at the bottom will stretch a little while the rubber band at the above of the arm will stretch more. These two rubber band will give high force effect. The physical properties of rubber band is elasticity. Rubber have their own natural elasticity. They can stretch when we pull and spring back to the original shape when it release. However, it is not a good mechanism as spring. It is because the rubber band can elongate. Elongation is defined as the percentage increase or strain in the original length of a rubber band with the application of force or stress. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Ain Filzana. The data that obtained from this experiment is the distance from the launcher position A to target position B is 1.5 meter and the height of the launcher from the ground is 0.16 meter. The angle of launch is 40 degree. For the calculation, first draw the free body diagram. Resolve the positions or velocity of the object in the horizontal and vertical components. The magnitude velocity of the horizontal line is V x equal to V cos 
40 degree and for the vertical is Vy is equal to V sine 40 degree. Analyze the motions of projectile in the horizontal direction by using horizontal motion equation. The components of position as given by the quantities x and y. Analyze the motion of projectile in the vertical direction by using vertical motion equations. So the value of the initial velocity is 4.135 meter per second. As we know the initial velocity, so we can find the time of projectile travel. The time is equal to 0 0.47 second. The experiment was successfully conducted. All data obtained from the experiment are clearly tabulated in the table 5.1. Discussion. A catapult is a launching device that allows us to observe experimentally projectile motion. When the ball is launched, the only force acting are gravity and air resistance. Gravity accelerates the ball in the negative y direction. Air resistance accelerates the ball in the, in the opposite direction of travel. Our catapults are simple device for storing energy in a stretch rubber band, then transferring it quickly to a projectile. It observed that when the arm of launcher was pulled back until it reached the lower break, it will stretch the rubber band. The energy will be stored once you pull back the arm launcher within the rubber band. And after that, when you let go of the arm launcher, this stored energy will be converted into kinetic energy and the projectile begins to fly. It observed that the more energy that given at the projectile, the further it will be travel. The less the mass of an object, the more the distant projectile travel, so that it will be move faster further. When the angle launch is set at 40 degrees, it shows that the ping pong ball will be land to the ground faster and the time projectile travel will be shorter. Hi, we meet again. But in this session, I will be giving you the conclusion of our project, which is to understand that projectile motions in dynamics is very important for engineers because any engineer design that involves any object moving in motion requires an understanding of physics that involves projectile motion. Even NASA engineers use projectile motion concepts to predict the path of meteorites from entering the Earth's atmosphere or any disruption of satellite transmissions. So, the combination of physical understanding of projectile motions and the ability to calculate uh, any equations enables engineers to predict the projectile trajectories. Thank you.